Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is game user settings, the set to defaults node. Let's go ahead and check out our node. And uh, I think I have it wired up. Yeah, I still have it wired up. So basically, the set to defaults node breaks stuff if you don't use it properly. But it's also good when you've broken stuff. It's intended to be used to go back to kind of like a fail-safe set of defaults that Unreal has, Unreal, Epic has determined is safe for the engine. I'll cover the code itself and show you what it does, but also cover an issue with it if you don't use it properly. So let's look and see what happens here. Let me unhook this. Um, see, I would have to... That's an easy way of doing this. Let's do load and apply. Okay, so let me unhook this because I'll show you the... I got to show you the bug, but let me see if I can show you this working as well. Okay, so in theory here, if this works properly, I'm going to go ahead and load up all of our existing settings, the settings I've already saved inside the game. And then, actually, let's load this. Let's do this. Let's run this. Let's go ahead and auto detect. And here's our settings. Let's go ahead and set some things down to like medium and 60 frames and 40. Let's set a resolution to something weird like that. And let's hit accept. Okay, so we've gone ahead and changed a bunch of settings here. Let's make it bigger to make it more noticeable. Um, let's see, does that work? There we go. So now we've got a bunch of settings changed. If we go ahead and run it again, they should be changed, but I don't have the apply node hooked up. So as you can see here, we have things different, 1680 and all these other numbers. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hook up the set to default node. And what this is going to do is set everything to default values, and then I should load and apply it afterwards. So we should be able to see something happen. And there we go. And we did. It didn't apply. Oh, did I see the apply node unhooked? Yes. See? Dag damn it. Okay. So let me rephrase that horribly, horribly misconstrued statement. <laughs> Let's run this again and try with the code actually hooked up. We're going to go ahead and set everything to low. Oh, that was funny. And set this down. And let's set a resolution to 16 by 1050. There we go. Close this down. Hit play. And oh, I hate the stupid. The resolution thing is causing me some serious issues lately. Yeah, when you run this thing not in stand load, it causes an issue. Anyways, you can see everything's loaded up as low. We have 1680 by 1050. If I was to close this, let's set up our defaults. And let's run this again. You'll see it's now changed. We now have a really, we have a different scale here and we have everything set to epic. What did it do? Well, let's run this again and you'll notice things change. So if we were to go into the code itself, right here, and we look at it, what the set to defaults does, if I used it properly, was it's going to get some default values for the Windows position, the Windows mode, the Windows resolution, going to set our frame limit to unlimited. It's going to set our scalability back to the minimum resolution. It's going to set the screen width to a default 1280 by 720. It's going to remove some benchmarks if we've saved them and it's going to change the last recommended back to a negative value because basically safe values. Then it's going to go ahead and make sure that we have values set properly for full screen mode and things like that. Since I'm running plain editor, full screen mode doesn't work right. That's why when I reset, nothing happened. It's going to set the default for the scalability values. So you're going to get whatever you have saved for your default. Normally it's the higher settings. And then it's going to do some things such as if it's a headless thing, if it upsets the resolution quality. So the point here is set to default is a nice good set of fail saves. However, these values here are cause, are cause? for concern are an issue. The default resolution coded is zero, zero. The scaling value for resolution scale uses the default desired values. 
Therefore, if you set to defaults and then attempt to use a scale or get the screen resolution, you're going to have an issue. Let me show you that. I'm going to go ahead and run everything like before. We're good. We can see everything on the screen. Now I'm going to hook up my print screen and I'm going to ask it for the screen resolution. We're going to hit play. We're going to get back zero. I have a zero for the X. Let's, let's make that print screen last a little bit longer. We'll hit play again. This is telling me that I'm running in a screen resolution of zero right now. But we know I'm not. We know if I reset it, we're running at 1280 by 720. And you can see my resolutions are changing here. But if I was to hit play and it resets, well, it's telling me zero. When I mentioned that it resets the values to zero, it's important. If you attempt to set the defaults without validating the values, you're going to get back bad values for resolution, both for the desired and the existing. Let me hook up this validate settings node here, and we're going to go ahead and hit play. And we're going to go ahead and hook up the proper setting, and then we're going to hit play. Now we're going to get something completely different, 1600 by 1024, because that's what I told it to be set to. If we run it again, well, 1600 by 1200, 1024. Let's go with 1280 by 768 and accept. We'll run it again, 1280, because that's what we're running it at. And I could hook up the Y, and we'll see 768. So that is something that is very, very important. If you set to default, make sure you validate the settings afterwards. If you do not, you're going to end up saving invalid values, and you're going to get the infinite for your scaling. And you're going to get zero and zero for your current screen resolution. That's pretty much it. That's what our set to defaults node does. And the proper way of using it is to make sure that we are going to validate after we set to defaults. That's going to wrap up this node. This node is useful for if the crap hits the fan. You could always put in a reset button if, for example, you're allowing your players to adjust their settings and they've gone ahead and made a bunch of weird changes you can have a reset button set it to defaults validate and apply and it's going to go ahead and set everything back to the defaults it might also be something you want to do on the first load go ahead and set to defaults on the first time that way they're going to run at some default settings 